What up everyone, MC get better here and in this video you already know what we're gonna do. The shader which I created in less than 5 minutes is in the background and it's super easy to make with no softwares and you can do this on any device except console. But if you have a console you can still use it on your console using another method which, will, which I will not be discussing in this video. So the pack shader MC will be the download for that folder will be in the description because that is the base or over i mean basic overlay which we'll be using in this video so this is the pack icon you can edit this or if you already have a pack icon made you you can upload it here but the name has to be pack underscore icon dot png not even jpeg file it has to be a png file and this is the manifest we're going to be doing a little bit of editing in this manifest and you can just change the name. I'm going to make it YouTube Shader or YT Shader with this video as an example, but you can name it whatever you want. Then you can open your web browser, any browser is fine, and you search UUID generator. Then click on that website and copy the UUID. I suggest using UUID generator, not .NET because that's the easiest. And then there are two UUIDs which you have to replace. So you got one and then refresh the page, copy that ID, and once again, just replace it with the second ID. And if you can see the mini engine version over there, that should be used on whatever version you're playing on. So I'm playing on 1.18.2, which is the latest version, so I put that. So once, if you go to the last file, you will see these seven images called cubemap and cubemap underscore zero and a lot more. So that is basically the picture of your shader. So you can go to any browser and just take the picture which you want as your shader. I'm just going to be using this for an example. Then go to that specific place, the folder overworld underscore cube map, and rename that image as cubemap.png. It has to be a PNG file, and if you make a JPEG file.png, nothing's going to harm, absolutely nothing will be changed, you can still use the file. And then you can close your browser and go back to your image folder. And now once you're in your image folder, again, you can delete all the previous cubemap underscore whatever number. And the only picture here will be cubemap.png. And then after that, you can right click that image and edit with photos. After that, the only thing you need to do is change the aspect ratio to square and save copy. And then after that, you can duplicate the copy. And now, as you saw in the beginning, how the shader will look once completed, it'll be a bit weird, but that if you want it as a perfect shader, I'll have an advanced tutorial link in description. And make sure you name that copy cubemap underscore zero dot png. And then after that, you have to make six copies in total of that file, including the cubemap underscore zero, and rename them cubemap underscore zero underscore one until underscore five, as you can see what I've done on my screen. And then after that, you can go back to the folder and you can send that folder to a zip file. That's easy. Just right click and go to send to and compress zip file. And you can name that file whatever you want. But I'm going to keep it the same as children of secret MC pack. And then you can convert the zip file to an MC pack using this website. I suggest using this website because I know it's safe for sure. And I've never tried anything else, so just use EasyZip. It's very simple. And then after that, you can rename that file whatever you want. The default will be EasyZip that I've seen pack, but you can name it Shaders or whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Shaders YouTube.mc pack. After that, you can go back to your files and double click that folder, and that will open Minecraft. Wait for your Minecraft to load. Then after it finishes loading, you will see the screen close. Yep, import started, as you can see here. And then after some time, it should just say import successful. If that doesn't work, I'll have a link in the description to fix that in case you have done something wrong in the manifest or anything like that. Go ahead, create a new world. I'm going to put it to creative mode so it's easy to see. And I'm going to name the world Shaders Test YouTube. And then go to the resource pack section and Tick the checkbox at the very top and activate the YouTube shader. I mean, whatever shader you have. After it finishes loading, it'll go back to the default screen since you haven't changed the UI. 
Oh, well, my successfully imported screen came a little bit later. But as you can see, the shader worked. It looks like some sort of a box which you're living in. And that completes this basic tutorial on how to make a simple shader. I hope you liked the video and found it easy and simple. And I hope you have a successful shader making experience.